So I got uh, Vic here with me. We're going to go over the four kinds of deadlifts, and we're going to be using a kettlebell to teach that, right? Okay. So we have conventional deadlifts, we have sumo deadlifts, we have Ro uh, Romanian deadlifts, and we have a stiff leg deadlift. All four of them work different muscle groups and have different technique involved. So with our conventional deadlift, feet are generally parallel, shoulder width apart, hips come back, and back is arced. If you can't reach this distance, you need to elevate the kettlebell so that you can lift without rounding your back and it down. The easiest way to do that is with like a plate. And you get a plate or two, and for clients who have mobility issues, you'll need to do this. Right. And we raise up the kettlebell so that they can get down to it, right? Even for you, it's a little bit of a stretch, right? Yeah. Kettlebell handles a little higher, barbells are even lower. Right. So we go down. Now, the next part when we're here, this is our set point, right? Lifting with a, with a kettlebell is a deadlift is a heel focused idea. So you should be able to lift up your toes even because all the force is driving from your heels is primarily glute dominance exercise. It's all about driving your feet down and propelling your hips forward. Okay. If you transfer the weight to your toes, it becomes a quad dominant exercise. If you use your quads for heavy deadlifting, the angle that your knee will make can cause knee injury, and that's why people think deadlifting can help your knees. Okay. You can do it incorrectly. Okay, so far so good, right? Mm -hmm. Sumo deadlift, uh, another popular one. So with that one, you bring your leg as far apart as your mobility allows, and feet are completely uh, pirouetted naturally, right? And then you bring basically right underneath here, and you lift up. Okay, it transfers a lot of the force to your hamstrings. Right. Especially when you put some load in there. Right. So that's your sumo deadlift and your conventional deadlift. On our workouts, if it doesn't say anything, it's a conventional. If it's something else, it'll say sumo deadlift, RDL, Romanian deadlift, or stiff leg deadlift. So let's move to the Romanian deadlift. With the Romanian deadlift, and it's actually a little hard to do with the kettlebell, basically the kettlebell stays right behind you, or right, right next to you here, and we just pull up with our glutes and our hamstrings. Like this? Yep. And you can bring your legs even closer together, point your toes forward, hips go back, bring your back, come down. Hips first, come back up. Back up. Hips first. Mm -hmm. Keep your knees where they are, and we'll come down this way. Keep butt, butt, butt. There you go. So keep this straight down, right next to you. Keep as close to your heels again, come down. Here. Hips, hips, hips. Good. Oh my god. Yeah, now drive up. Hard. Push up hard. <sighs> That's a Romanian deadlift. Okay? It's a lot of mobility, and we're hitting muscles not used to being activated. Let them know those muscles are compensating. Take the work that these muscles aren't doing. Yes, they will be. That's a balance too. Yeah, it takes practice. So that's your Romanian deadlift, your stiff leg deadlift. <clears throat> Back is still arced, and we're coming forward. We're coming up. So with the, the back. It's more back focused because you have to maintain your back postures and the spinal erectus. It's going to be your work. Less on the glutes and the hamstrings. Um, it's basically a deadlift, but her knees are staying straight. Stiff leg deadlift, right? right? Okay. Not usually done with a kettlebell, usually done with more of a barbell. I don't ever see stiff leg kettlebell deadlifts, but with a barbell all the time. Right. 